Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5 Beta 1. Now this does work on your iPhone 3GS, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 3rd and 4th generation, as well as the first iPad. Now this does not work for the iPad 2 as of now. And it also only works if you are a Mac user, so Windows users aren't supported yet. What you're going to do first is you're going to go to that website that I have down below in the more info and download Red Snow. Now you will need to be a registered developer and you will have to have your UDID registered to basically go past all of the activation screens. Once you have them downloaded just open up Red Snow and when Red Snow is open you are going to browse for your firmware. Now I recommend putting your firmware in an easy to find spot such as your desktop. So I know exactly where mine is, and I'm just going to go ahead and browse for it, and we are going to open the firmware. And then it will start to process the firmware. Once it has processed, it will say IPSW successfully identified. From there, you can click next, and then it will start to prepare the jailbreak data. Right now, I'm just going to show you that I am on iOS 5. So here it is, and as you can see, it has newsstand, reminders, and the iPod app is now separated out into music and videos. But I will also show you guys inside of settings, general, about, that again, I am on iOS 5 because it does say 5.0 for the version. Now that that's out of the way, it will give you a couple of options here. It will say install Cydia, install custom bundle, just boot tethered right now, or just interpone DFU mode right now. All we are worried about is install Cydia right now, so just have that checked. Once you have that checked, you can click next, and it will simply tell you to plug in your device, power it off, and prepare to enter DFU mode. Now, I'm actually going to walk you guys through how to enter DFU mode right now, because I think it is better to enter DFU mode in the beginning than actually having to do it when you are timed. So, what you're going to do is hold down the home and power button together, and you want to hold them down for a total of 10 seconds, even after the screen where it says slide to power off. Once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button. Now you're going to want to hold the home button for anywhere between 10 to 20 seconds. And then what it will do is bypass that screen without even clicking next and it will start to exploit your device with the LimeRain exploit and it will just continue the jailbreaking process on your device. So as you can see it is downloading the jailbreak data on my iPhone and over here it says that it is finished jailbreaking and the rest of the process will take place on your device. So I'll come back once this scrolling text phase is done. Alright, so it just finished with the scrolling text phase, and now you get this pineapple running, and it has a progress bar down there, and it will change depending on which step it's on. Now, this can take some time. However, it shouldn't take any more than uh, roughly five to seven minutes. So, I will be back once this process has finished, and once my iPhone has successfully rebooted. Alright, so here we go, it just booted up successfully, and because this is a tethered jailbreak, Cydia and Safari will not work. As you can see, Cydia is a white icon, and when you try and open either of them, they crash. So, here's an example of me trying to open up Cydia, and here is an example of me trying to open up Safari again. It will simply crash. Again, this is because it is a tethered jailbreak, so what we're going to have to do is have our device plugged in again, and we will have to rerun Red Snow in the Just Boot Tethered Now stage. So again, browse for your firmware once you have Red Snow opened up, and once you have your firmware, again, just open it, and then it will process the firmware, and once it has identified it, it will start preparing the jailbreak data. Now, instead of having Install Cydia checked right here, we're going to have Just Boot Tethered Right Now checked and then you can simply click next and it will tell you that you need to have your device both plugged in, powered off, and prepare to enter DFU mode. Again, we're going to do that right now by holding down the home and power button together for a total of 10 seconds. Once that 10 seconds is up, let go of the power button and continue holding the home button and then it will start to go into DFU mode. Now this should take roughly 10 to 15 seconds as you can see right there, it uh, instantly bypassed that screen. That is because we entered DFU mode ahead of time, which I highly recommend doing. That way you can attempt it multiple times instead of having it go through the timed steps with you. 
Alright, so now it is done. As you can see, I have the Pwned Pineapple logo right there, and now it will reboot. And again, a tethered jailbreak just means that every time you want to reboot your device and use Cydia or Safari, then you will have to plug it in and rerun Red Snow in that Just Boot Tethered Now stage. Otherwise, it will do exactly what I showed you. It will crash and people have reported not even being able to start up their device without it being in that Just Boot Tethered Now stage. Alright, so now it has booted up, and what I'm going to do is show you guys that both Cydia and Safari now work. So I do have Cydia on my iOS 5 device, and I will show you guys at the bottom that it does say I am on 5.0. So, as you can see, it says iPhone 4 GSM iOS 5.0 Cydia 1.1.1. So that is the proof that I am jailbroken on iOS 5. And Safari works now instead of quitting. So I hope you guys liked this video. Please remember to rate it up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.